Ha, satis Anan. Ya? Yeah? Okay. So, I will I will record the attendant when you turn on the camera. Oh, okay. Okay, say hi to everyone. Right, so so we need to make sure that everyone is, uh, everybody is in the class. So uh, we are now in chapter four, and uh, uh, I hope to finish chapter four by today. And 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 if possible, we will look at chapter five because we have only five weeks, including this week, right? And we have we still have uh, chapter five and chapter six. Okay. So last week we have looked at um, the uh, register, counter, memory circuit, and also finite state machine, and we have designed the uh, simple finite state machine based on this example. Okay, so we also have uh, done the uh, manual design based on this and deriving the uh, logic table, the K-map, and also the circuit like this. And also we have looked at how we design using uh, the finite state machine. And today we will continue on that. Uh, and again, we will go back to the design in uh, quarters and see how we design this again, right, one by one. Okay, so uh, for those who are online, also uh, you need to have quarters with you, all right? Because we we want to do uh, uh, activities, all right? Some activities where we will use the quarters to design this again, okay? Based on the specification that we have. So again, if we have the the state diagram like this. Right, this is state diagram. And this state diagram is derived from the specification. We have the specification last time, okay, where we want to, for this one, where we want to detect the sequence of one one, right, from the input, okay, and the output z will be equal to one, okay. So we have this, and now how to write the Verilog code, okay? So to start the Verilog code, first, if we have the uh, state diagram, so you need to have the structure of the finite state machine, right? So this is your finite state machine. You, mean, you need to have the state register. Okay, this we call state Register, All right? Which is a register that we have learned, okay? And this is D flip flops. And before that, we will have the combinational circuit, right? In this case, in this block, we call it the next state logic, right? And we also I have another block, which is the a combinational block also. This block is called the output logic. I hope that for those online can see this. Can you see this? Can, Dr. Okay. Can, Dr. So, this is Fundamental, all of the finite state machine will, will have the structure, basic structure like this, right? You have state register, state logic, and output logic, okay? And you will have the input, but some of the finite state machine don't have input, we will see later. But in our case, we have input, which is W, right? Based on that. And we have output, Z, okay? So here, 
is the input to the state register output from this. And output from the state register will be the input for the output logic. Okay, and we have the feedback to this. This is always. Yeah, you will have the feedback. And how many bit or what is the size of our state register? It depends on how many states that we have. In our case, we have three states. Okay, so to represent the number of states that we have, we need this register to be more than one bit, right? Because if one bit, we only can represent two number, zero and one. Right now we have three, so cannot use one bit to represent that. So you need to have more than one. More than one can be two, three, or, or four, depend. So what if we have two? So if we have two, we can have up to four com number combination, which is zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. Right? So four is enough for, for this, for this case, right? Because we only have three. So we can have two here, two bit. If this two, this also two, right? And the output is one bit, that, that, that's it. And this is of course two bit. So this is the, the circuit, the block diagram, the circuit, the structure of our finite state machine, okay? Now from this, we write the code, write the code to represent this or to model this, based on that behavior. That is the behavior, right? The behavior of our circuit is the state diagram. So how to write the code? Again, so let's uh, start from, uh, from our laptop. Okay, let's uh, open quarters. And okay, instead of writing on whiteboard, uh, on paper, so let's code on uh, use use the tools, the software, right? Such that we can see. Uh, how it should be done, right? So for those online, you should have quarters also. Yeah. Okay, let's have quarters. Okay, let's uh, start a new project. Okay, so everyone should be able to do this very fast, right? So you can start a new project, go to next, uh, have your folder. And remember, your folder must be unique. Yeah, one folder for one project, right? Don't mix with other project. So uh, let's have a new folder. We have FFM, any FSM, FSM here. So let's me create a new one, FSM, maybe number four. Okay, for this, select FSM four. Next, next. Okay, just finished here. Right, no need other settings. Okay, create a new uh, very log file. So we have this. Now from this, we have the structure, which is very easy. You have to create the register. And uh, of course the logic, yeah, the behavior will be based on the uh, finite state diagram, sorry. So let's, uh, let's have the state diagram here again. Right, let me draw the state diagram again here. So we have, a, B, C, right? A where Z equal to zero, B where Z equal to, oh, sorry, this is C, B here, Z equal to zero. And this is when uh, W equal to one, W equal to one. And when W equal to zero, we stay here. W equal to zero, go back. W equal to zero, go back. And if W equal to one. So this should be our state diagram. Okay, now let's uh, write the code. So you start with module. 
And of course, uh, because this is state register, so you need the clock and also the reset. Okay. Where is the reset? This is the reset. Right? So means that when you reset, you will be in state, state A. Okay? So you will have clock, reset signal. You will have input W. You will have, uh, what is that? You will have output Z. Right? Output Z. Any other signal that we miss? I mean, in terms of input and output. So we have W, we have Z, we have clock, we have reset done. All right? See, it is exactly based on this. Okay? Right. Now, we have the input, which is the clock, the reset, and the W. Okay? And we have the output. Remember, the output here is that because we will model this logic using behavioral modeling, all right? Behavioral modeling. So that must has variable data type also means that you need to have rack does that as rack as well. And right now, what is inside? We need to have this signal also. So let's name this as state, right? Because this is the state. This signal represents the state, means that the output of the state register is the state. State A, state B, state C, state C is here, right? And this is the next state. Next state in the future. Right, next state, go to the state register, become the present state. Right, so this is present state, this is next state. Yeah, not the other way around. Means state here and next state here. No. Okay, next state. Because this is future and this is present. Present state. Okay. So this one, these two need to be declared as signals. Or variable in this case is track. The size is two bit state and next state. Right? State and next state. To represent this too. Any other signal that we need to have? No? Done, right? We have this, 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 this. Done. Okay. Now we need to have the name to represent the state. So we can use parameter. Okay. Where the size is two bit as well. So this will be the same as the size of your state register or next state logic. Okay, so uh, we have state A, which is equivalent to two bit zero zero. State B, which is equivalent to oops, two bit, we should have B, two bit, Binary, you can have in decimal, doesn't matter. Or oh, hexadecimal, doesn't matter, right? Zero, 01. You have C, two bit, one, zero, done. So we have only three A, B, and C. Okay, very simple, straightforward. Now, any question so far? Declaration, simple, straightforward. Okay, now uh, is the state register. State, state register, this. Now we want to model this. And this is a register, which is very straightforward, very easy. Where we use the behavioral modeling 
yeah, or is blocked. And because this is flip flops and is it's a positive edge triggered, positive edge block. And let's say, for example, the reset is active high, means that this is both edge reset. So if reset equal to one, the output which is state. The output of this register is state. Okay, state is assigned to zero or a, right? State a. A means zero zero. Means that if we reset. So this should be zero zero or a okay right as simple as that so if you reset the output is a or state is a okay and remember this is state register here you can see that we use the non-blocking assignment okay else if not reset the output here is assigned to this or equal to this, right? So state uh, the correct term is next state is assigned to state. Okay, so we have next state. This is the state register done. We have this register already with this code. Very straightforward. Okay, very simple. So from now, when you want to design a register, this is how. Okay. Now we want to design this block and also this block because this block is uh, is the combination of circuit. So you can design it separately or you can combine in one on base block right both are correct okay so in this case i just use uh, one always block i combine this two in one always block okay so this is uh, the uh, next state and output logic Okay, I use always block. So the list in the sensitivity list will be first is the input to this is state. Input to this is W. Input to this also state. So we have two input state and W. Right? So how to determine the list in the sensitivity list? You look at the input. To this, so you have W and you have the state. For this, you have only state. So you have state and W is the input to B is always block. All right. In other words, yeah, these two always block is sensitive to th this signal, this signal, this signal. Okay. Now, for the state, the state, we have many possibilities. So we can use if else, right? But the best way to represent many possibilities is to use case statement, okay? So for example, if zero, zero, if zero, one, if one, zero, if one, one, right? If you have that kind of uh, combination, so the best way is to use case statement. Case zero zero, case zero one, case one zero, case one one, right? So we can use case statement here. Case case what? Case state. That's a T, eh? State. S T A T. State. Okay. Case state. So if state equal to zero, for example, means that if state A, what happened? That is mean by the, this. Okay, so if this equal to zero or state A, what 
should this circuit behave? So if state A, state A, the output should be equal to zero, right? And also, we need to look at the input. In state A, the output is zero. Of course, Z equal to zero. And also, we need to look at W. So if W equal to zero, we stay in A. If W equal to one, we go to B. All right? So we can write that because we have we will have more statement. So we need to have begin and end. All right. If one statement only, no need. Okay. Now we have more statement. So of course, Z equal to zero in state A. And also we need to check what is W. So how to check? Because W, we, can, we, we only have two possibilities, zero and one. So use if statement, enough. If one or zero, right? If you have many possibilities, the best way is to use case. I will show you another example that we need to use case later on, okay? So here we have if W equal to one, or you can start with if W equal to zero, either one, right? So if W equal to one, what happened is that the output, yeah, if W equal to one, if here equal to one, the output here should be state B, right? Just like this. If W equal to one, state B. So next state should be equal to B. Else? Next state should be equal to A, right? Exactly. If W equal to zero, next state equal to A. Done. For state A. See, very straightforward. Straightforward and this is based on the uh, your based on your state diagram here. Okay, now this is state A. So we stop all the statement here. See, this is for state A, right? We begin here and end here. And we have many statements. We have, this is one statement, another statement. So we have two statements in here. Okay, now case B. Or zero one, right? B. So again, look at B because we will have many uh, statement also in the in B. So we need to have begin and again Z equal to zero in B, and we check for W. So if W equal to one, next state. Equal to C, right? Else, okay, we can we can do this. Okay, very fast. Okay, see, this is for B, right? Then now C, C is the same. Now C, Z should be equal to one, right? Equal to one. Z equal to one. Next step, if W, next step should be equal to if one, C. Else, A, yeah. So this is done for this is done for C. Now because we use this case statement, remember remember this. If you use case statement or if statement, you need to 
you need to have all the possibilities. So in this case, we have only three possibilities, A, B, C, all right? Or zero, 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 one, one, zero. You need to have one, one. If not, yeah, if not, the Verilog compiler, when you, when you compile your design, you will not, yeah, you, you will not receive any error message, but your circuit might behave wrong, right? Because what happened if the input, the output here, uh, sorry, what happened is if one one, all right? It's possible, right? So in this case, we need to have one one, or in this case, you can use default. The keyword is default means that other than this, okay? In our case, if one one, what happened is that Z is don't care. That is one bit. This is how we write don't care, one bit. If two bit, this is how. Okay, very easy. In our case, is one bit. And next state, we don't care also. And remember the state is two bit. Okay, done. For all. And we need to close the case statement. So the keyword is n case. And this is done. Okay, the program is complete now. So you see, uh, if we have the state diagram and the block diagram, or to be precise, this is called the functional block diagram, FBD, functional block diagram. If you have this and we have the state diagram, okay, to, to design the finite state machine is straightforward. Okay, you save your design. And you can start to synthesize your design. Okay, I'll give you some time to. Okay. Oh, we have the one error. So uh, this is syntax error. Syntax error is uh, can be easily fixed. Yeah, because it's just a syntax. Just maybe typo somewhere. Okay, so here, um, oh, module name, we don't have. So this is F as M4, right? Forgot that. So anything else? Uh, okay, very hard to find. So you can again save and try to synthesize and let the software check for you. Okay. And for those online, I hope that you all can uh, follow. Okay, so we don't have any, we don't have any uh, error, but we have one warning. This warning is okay. If you have more than one warning, you should be concerned. Hey, you don't? No software? Yes. Okay, uh, what is that? Syntax error can be easily fixed. Okay, you, you just follow me, right? So this should be the name, the name of your module, FSM4. Okay, let's see. One error. Syntax, syntax is easy, double click the, the yeah, the message, the message. Where is it? The message. Again, same thing, same error. So the name, FSM. No, 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 module, the name is FSM. No, space. Okay, this one, no space. Any, any? Wow, good. 
many more. Just in syntax error, you so module where is your module? M O D L E. Me, your friend can help. Uh, just syntax uh, syntax error. Syntax error is can be easily fixed. Just uh, look at the first one. Go to the first one. So you have how many? How you have three? three. Okay, du right. double click this. All right. Well, so what oh, is the error? Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, again, again, again. Careful. Then, yeah. yeah. warning. Oh, not good. Not good. Twelve warning is not good. Uh, so how? Read, read the warning, guys. If you have the warning, although you don't have any error, right? But if you have warning, I mean, what happened? I mean, if you have more than, if you have, if you have more than one warning. One warning is okay because this is related to the license. We, we, we use the light license, free license, so that is the warning. It's okay. But if you, if you have more than, I mean more than one warning, that means something, uh, might be something wrong with your design. One error, this is okay. This is not, not about the design. This is just a warning that saying that uh, this is a free license so you cannot yeah not display you you cannot use the full features of the software that's it so you don't have b so let's see what what on top of that no, no, go back you do, you have a and this is small c you need to have and also you don't have c uh, look at your friend you need to have C. Done? Not yet. Okay, I give you time. All right, I give you time to figure figure out what is the problem. And also for those online. Online. Now, for those online, I cannot see what happened to you, whether you have uh, the correct, design or not right but if you have problem maybe you can share the screen and let me see right we can do that so please yeah just let me know if online yeah you're online if you have problem so you can share the screen and let me see Still one warning, one er what error, yeah. one warning, one warning is okay, one error. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Remember, very lock is sensitive, case sensitive. I mean, case. Okay, done. Warning. What about your warning? No, 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 no. Mostly licensing. You see, this is. Uh, do you compile or you do you? I compile. Oh, compile. No, no, use this one first. Oh, use this one. Ah, this one you should have only one. Ah, okay. Two warning. Huh? Truncated. Okay, size. Just means that the size that you you not specify the size. You type the size. All right. So uh, the quarters will uh, create the size for you automatically. So let's double click this. Double click this. Ah, should be one. Yeah. 
one bit. Uh, see, it's warning. It's not wrong, tapi uh, the design is not that correct. Lah. Any problem? Uh, huh? Five what? Five? <laughs> seven, seven. Seven now. <laughs> It looks like you copy from somewhere, is it? Just double click this. I mean, I mean, you copy the code from notes, right? Yeah. Ah. Uh, I mean, no, 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 no. This, this. I mean, how to say this? Uh, no, the, this symbol. Use this one. Uh, you see, B must be red color. Okay. Because the character same when you copy from other source, yeah, from note, from PDF or from Word, it's different. Okay, done. Okay, what about no? Oh, my camera is stopped. Okay. I mean, uh, let's keep track. For those online, so online, do you have any problem? Uh, me, doctor. Uh, we have one. Okay, this is All right. Okay, done. Now we want to write the dashboard. Okay, we want to test whether our design is correct or not. Okay. So we need the test van. So again, uh, when we run to want to write the test pens, uh, and let's see, uh, let's give the input just like in this example, okay, where um, we want to have W. This is our the the clock or the t the interval so um this is reset uh, in this case is reset is active low but in this example in our case reset is active high so it is opposite to this signal but this is w so let's see the w is one at 50 nanosecond and go back down to zero again at uh, 70 Okay, and one. This is means that W is one one cycle, right? W is one cycle, and uh, I mean I need to use this because uh, the online. Yeah, that's that the online for those online can see this also. Okay, so hopefully for those online can see this. So this is W one time. This is another time, means that one cycle. But here we have W more than one cycle. This is one W, this is another one W, this is another one, means that we have one, one, one. Okay, so Z should be equal to one. Z should be equal to one for two times right because we have uh one 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 so z should be one here and also one here right and if w go back to zero so we have zero output okay so we have one one we have z equal to one if only one w z should be equal to zero okay so we have one here one here 
Okay. Now, right, I will click such that it's, it's uh, represent this. Okay. Um, so, how to write a code? Can you hear me? Uh, doctor? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to ask if I, 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 I have more than one warning. Is it okay? Not okay. Oh. I have hmm. 12 warnings. 12 warnings. Uh, I think you should, when, when, uh, when you want to compile, can, can you see the screen? Uh -huh, yep. Uh, okay, processing, you have compilation. Uh, don't, don't use compilation. Don't, don't use this one. Use the analysis and synthesis. Try to, oh, try to use that because we don't want to compile our design yet. Okay. Oh, oh. We just want to synthesize the design. Start analysis and synthesis. Uh, try, try to use okay, okay. analysis and synthesis and see okay. whether you, you have more warning or not. If you have more warning, and please share your screen. I, I want to see. Hmm? Hmm. Sama. Click, click this. Right. And case. So you will open and case. Ni. Ah, no, no. Ah, double click this. Double click, double click. Default, default ni double, double dot. Ah. Okay. So for those who finish this, Try to write your question. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Just now. Uh, who asked me just now? Can can? Yeah, doctor is already. Uh, get one warning already. One warning already. Yeah. Yep. Ah, uh, okay. So should be should be okay now. All right, so let's go back to this. And we want to write the attachment. Okay, so how to write the attachment? So you can click this, new. You click a new very log file, right? Okay, and remember you need to specify the, the time scale, right? So this is how you have the time scale. And the time scale, that we set is uh, one nanosecond time unit and one nanosecond, uh, sorry, one nanosecond time unit and one nanosecond precision. Yeah, okay, I have explained already what is time unit and precision, right? Uh, module, the module name is You can have, you can give any name. So I name this as FSN4, TB, TB represent dash band. All right. The input to the dash band, you can have a new name or you can use the same input name as this one. All right. So I recommend, recommend to use the same name such that you can just copy this, copy, input and output. No need to have your internal, internal uh, signals. So here, but the input here, you need to change to red and the output here, you need to change to W. Why? I have explained before. So go back and read yeah, the notes in chapter, chapter. Two. Okay. So we have that already. Now we need to instantiate the design, the design that we want to test. What is the design that we want to test? This one. So 
yeah, we just copy this, right? Copy this because this is the design that we want to test. Copy this and we instantiate. This is how we instantiate, All right? And the port connection, we use the positional port connection, which means that this must be the same with this in terms of the arrangement, right? Because, yeah, we copy paste, right? It should be the same, exactly the same, right? And of course, we need to name this uh, this this sub module as okay. Give any name. In this case, I uh, give the name as DUT or design the test. Now we have the design. We want to test. Okay. We have the design that we want to test. Now we give the input and see the output. Right. Give the input run the simulation and see the output. First, we need to create the clock. So the clock can be created using two methods. I explained already last week. So in this week, I use the, this method, which is the always, always uh, syntax. Okay. Every 10 nanoseconds, I will toggle my clock. So this is how means that my clock will change the state, change the logic every every 10 nanosecond. Right? This is 10 nanosecond and nanosecond because the uh, the syntax is clock equal to not clock. Means that you toggle clock. If zero, it will change to one because not clock every 10 nanosecond. 10 nanosecond. So this will create, yeah, create the clock at 20 nanosecond period. All right. Why this is 10 nanosecond? Look at the time scale, which is one nanosecond. One nanosecond time scale there. Okay, here is one nanosecond. Means that if I write the unit here, means that 10 multiplied by one nano. That is 10 nanosecond. If I write 10 here, means that 10 multiplied by 10. This is 100 nano. Okay. So this is a clock. Now we give the input. To give the input, we need to imagine. Or we need to maybe we design our input here on paper. And then we write. Uh, in code. Okay, so we use the initial begin. This is the what we call the initial block. At time zero, at time zero, what we want is our clock should be start at zero. At time zero, clock equal to zero. Or you can have clock equal to one, either one. Right? In this case, we start clock with zero at time zero. And let's reset the circuit first, such that at first we will be in state A. Okay, so how to reset the circuit? Very easy. Just, just set the reset signal to one. This will reset the circuit. And let's see the initial W is zero. So that is how. So we have clock equal to zero, reset equal to one, means that we reset and W equal to zero at time zero. Okay, now let's say another 10 nanosecond, which is here, 10 nanosecond, we release the reset, means that we not reset. The reset is not active, means that the circuit will wait for the for the input. So how to do that? Reset reset equal to zero here, yeah. but other signal is still the same. Right, we change only change reset at 10 nanosecond. And let's see, for example, if we uh, go to this, uh, we want to create the signal exactly like this. So at um, oh, I don't want this. So at 
what is this? This is uh, 50 nanosecond. Is it 50? Yeah, 50, right? At 50 nanoseconds. So how to get 50? So because the time is accumulate, so 10. So to get 50, you can add, you, you add 40 to 10 to get 50. So here you have W equal to 1. And another 20, another 20 nano or one cycle, you make W equal to 0 again. And here at the, how many cycle? 1, 2 cycle means that 40, another 40, you make W equal to 1 again. For one cycle, so this is how we have for one cycle. And another 40 again, 40 again. Oh, sorry, this is zero. Another 40 again, we make W equal to one. But now let's have the W equal to one for longer, three time, uh, three cycle. So it should be 60, right? 60 now, before we make the W equal to zero again. Okay, try to understand this. Try to understand this, right? Let's let's uh, try to understand this. Do you have any question about on, on on this? Let's try to understand this. Okay, try to draw this. So at zero, we have this all equal to zero, only the reset equal to one. But at ten, so we have reset equal to zero. Okay, at forty. 40 means that 40 plus 10, 50, right? So if we draw, it should be should be like this. If we have our clock, okay, at zero, so we have W equal to zero, reset equal to zero, uh, reset equal to one, but let Look at the W, W equal to zero. Until 50, so this, this should be 20, this should be 40, this should be 60, 80, 100, right? So 10 plus 40, 10 plus 40 is 50. Means that here, here W equal to one, but one for only 20, 20 nano, right? One for only 20 nano. Another 20 nano, we have zero again. Okay, so here we have zero again. For, for how long? Zero for 40 nanosecond, it will go to one again. So you will have 40 nanoseconds, it will go to one again, right? So that is uh, how we create the, this, okay? So you need to imagine a little bit, all right? Or you can draw, try to draw on paper first, and you describe that signal uh, based by using this, okay? And uh, let's... Uh, have another 50 nano until we stop the simulation. So we stop the simulation here. And we have N module here, right? So we stop the simulation and end our module. And we save our module. Okay, let's save our module, save. So the name is FSM4 TB. Okay, now we save. Then we want to simulate. So how to simulate? You need to create yeah, the simulating set. Uh, simulation settings, go to assignment, 
assignment setting and look at the simulation here all right tools name is the model sim altera the one that we use the software that we install is the model sim altera but if you use later on in future maybe you use the uh, other software you can use other software as well as well for example intel now is using uh, the new uh, the latest one is costa Questa sim right but this is actually very similar to model modern sim altera but Questa sim you need a quite complicated licensing setup because it is uh, for commercial one right so in our case in university we can use the model sim altera okay compile the test pen choose this one compile test pen test pen create a new one test pen and uh, add the file for test pen which is the fsm4 dot uh, for tb dot v in our case add click ok ok and ok done for setting okay repeat all right repeat you go to assignment setting choose this yeah go to here if if you are here for example right in general so you look for the eda tool setting and go to simulation tab simulation and here tool name tools name is the model sim altera and choose this compile test bin. click this test benches click this and click click new in my case uh, i have already so I just edit give the name so the name should be the same with the module name that your test bin name so this is my, my case and uh, you need to add the file here you need to add the file click this and add the file and click add right and make sure that the file is in the list here your file should be in the list right make sure that your file is in here your file is in here and also this the name right Click OK, OK, and OK. Done. Now we are ready to simulate our design. So for simulation, you go to Tools, Run Simulation Tools, Run RTL Simulation. Right? Click this and wait for the uh now wait for the model sim to be invoked so here model sim another software oh we have error uh because in our i i don't know for your case but in my case well, we have error error here means that syntax error so i oops oh i closed the software i need to close Actually, I need to close this. Uh, I need to open again. Okay, actually, when we write the uh, when we write the test band, we need to check for any syntax error. So uh, this is how we check for syntax syntax error actually. Uh, same as the previous our designs so you uh, can use start analysis and synthesis so you will have yeah not you maybe you are yours one is correct my one is not correct because i will have syntax error here here you see so i forgot the and oh mm, yeah i forgot this that's it right And I think done, but let's let's check again. Check. Same. Yeah, same error. Now you just put this. I just forgot forgot the semicolon here. 
Yeah. Now there is no error, so you can you can run the simulation again. And now we should not have any problem. But let's see. Right. Okay. So this we go to wave, uh, and this we should right click and zoom all, zoom full. Now we can see that this is our output here. Look at the W. We have one W here, Z is equal to zero. One, another one W, Z equal to zero. But if we have more W, one here, one here, now we have, now we have the output here and also here, right? So this verify, yeah, we, this will verify that our design is correct, right? Based on the input given. So it's give the output exactly uh, as what we want, all right? So for those online, do you do you get the same do you get the same uh, output? Online? Not yet, doctor. And let's see our friend online. Please turn on your camera. As promised. Online, please Turn on camera. Okay, still here. You good? Yes. Question just now? Oh, you. Okay, yeah. This is the output. It's correct. Okay, good. But but do you have any? I mean, do you have any any problem? Any issue for those online one? Doctor, can you any? hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, can I see your uh, the coding again for the test pen at the initial begin? I got error there. Initial begin. Okay. Now let's see. Uh. The test band, right? Yes. Okay, so this is okay. For 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 others, do you have any problem? Can get the I mean can get the output. Output can get the output. Okay, good. All right. So hope that you you get the idea on how to design a finite state machine. Okay, Doctor Ken, ready. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so maybe we. We should have a short break, five minutes, and come back. And let's see uh, this. Yeah, we 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 will we will finish this by today.